dementia is a huge issue for us as individuals. Uh, there are many people, 850,000 in fact in the UK, currently living with dementia. And then when you think about the families and friends and carers for that individual, it's affecting our whole society. So we've got to fix this, we've got to fix this as soon as we possibly can. We launched the Drug Discovery Alliance to accelerate the search for new and effective treatments for dementia and the Alliance is made up of three drug discovery institutes at the Universities of Cambridge, Oxford and University College London and we're pleased to have three Chief Scientific Officers on board who are experts in drug discovery and they'll be leading the, the work of the institutes in translating the most promising findings from academic research into new treatments for dementia. Drug discovery is a, uh, a long and complex process and it really starts with basic science, so with the research that's going on at a university. And that's used to identify the so-called target, which is a, typically a protein uh, that the drug is then going to bind to. And within the drug discovery process, what we do is we find molecules that bind to that protein target and change its behaviour. And we have to find lots of those molecules and improve the properties of them until we have one that's suitable for use as a drug. And this then gets um, taken into patients uh, and tested in clinical trials. The reason why drug discovery for dementia is such a big challenge is our understanding of the brain is still quite rudimentary in terms of its basic mechanisms. It's very difficult to model and probe the brain. It's much more easy if you can take a biopsy, say, from the liver or something like that to get to understand it. And then drug discovery itself is a very complicated process with many, many steps. And at each step, there are hundreds of questions to answer. This is such a huge problem for us in society and a growing problem that we can't just leave this to the drug and pharmaceutical industry. That simply isn't enough. We need to be able to tap into and use the fantastic minds, the fantastic science that goes on in our universities that's carried out by our academic scientists and take those ideas and turn them into treatments. And that's going to be the role of the Drug Discovery Institutes being set up by Alzheimer's Research UK.